where have we landed ourselves? What kind of a malice is this around us? Surely, the concentration of all the evil that manifests in and around is not the making of a leader, a party, a time. It is far, far more generic and for a nation that is embalmed as its emblem, Satya Meva Jayate. Why is truth a constant loser in the larger story of life? Ram Madhvani. Remember, he gave you Nirija, now gives you Dhammaka. This Kartik Aryan Mrinal Thakur film runs for about just two hours. It's on Netflix. Paradoxically, it uh, releases on the same day when Aditya Chopra is giving you uh, Bunty or Bubbly 2. One celebrating lies, falsehood, the success of it, all large scale and bunty and bubbly in the big theaters, Saif Ali Khan, Rani Mukherjee, produced by a big production house in the country. And then you also have almost creeping into the OTT platform without much noise. This film of Ram Madhwani, Dhamaka, the true Dhamaka is on the OTT platform. On a weekend, when you are sandwiched between India's return to form in India in the OTIs or in the T20s, find time to watch this Ram Madhwani film. I strongly recommend the film. I recommend the film not so much because it's a brilliant film, but because there is some chance that some of us will wake up. There is some chance that it may touch a chord in an increasingly insensitive world of professionals. It may draw some light of a contemporary world where in question is professional integrity, institutional honesty. People living in high places are so libidous in the use of their power that this film decides to take a look at it. You are free to draw your conclusions from the larger canvas. You have the choice of restricting it to just the business house, sorry, the television houses that carry news or views in the name of news, most often than not news that is created in the ambit of com commerce and commercialism. A citizenry that is constantly demanding, never accounting. And the devils quoting the scriptures. We've reached that level today that read the scriptures when they are quoted and you'll realize that it's more the devil that's quoting it than anybody else. Arjun and Soumya, both working for a media house and in a relationship that is falling apart are found at two ends of a bomb attack in Mumbai. The caller, Raghubhir, has a simple demand, an apology from the ministry. Part of building a huge bridge in Mumbai, three people are said to have died, and with them the truth of their death buried. 
all that this man who holds the city to ransom asks is a one word apology from the minister. The minister refuses. On the other hand, in at the six of the television channel, minutes before Arjun, played by Karthik Aryan, who's out for his talk show, receives a phone call and is witness to a bomb blast right opposite his office. What happens thereafter? I'm going to hold back from you with a very earnest hope that all of you will see the film. Believe you me, this film is worth investing in. It throws up multiple questions. It may not give you the right answers. It may not give you answers you agree with. It may offer oversimplistic or even fatalistic answers. But the fact that there is cinema today that is asking questions is important. And we, the collective, are at least responsible to the limited extent of encouraging such thought. We have Amrita Subhash playing. Ankita Malik, who draws the lines with the drawing board of the media house. Very normal performance. Brunal Thakur is Saumya, who is at the scene of the blast, covering the story and pleading to let go. Comes up with just the kind of performance you expect from her. Balanced. You have people like Vishwajit Pradhan coming in as the minister, minuscule roles. You have Vikas Kumar, who leaves an impression as the colleague in the news house. But out of his comfort zone, from the ever mischievous romanticist to a man whose life and career are at stake. Karthik Aryan is worth the watch. It's amazing. The transformation of the actor into a new zone. Credit must go to Ram Madhwani. He got a great performance in Nirja from Sonam Kapoor. And here he gets it from Karthik Aryan. Kudos. To Ram Madhwani for making a thought provoking film. The film could have been better made. There are loose ends, but at the end, it's engrossing, it's thought provoking, and apart from its thematic content, watch it for that very studied, balanced, fine performance from Karthik Aryan. Viewers. We in India are eternally complaining that we don't make good cinema. Often because we confuse circus with cinema. Whenever we get a chance to see a cinema on the right side of the fence, however good or bad it may be, we have a collective role to play in ensuring that the grass grows. Encourage this Ram Madhwani. Exercise. Go for it. Dhamaka is a good blast. Do send in your comments on the film. I'd like to get some comments on the thematic content of the film <clears throat> and how we all react to lies being the labyrinths of our social life. Thank you for watching. Acknowledgements to Abhina for editing and Datu for canning the whole story. Good day and bye-bye.